Hello and welcome to this series of programming system dynamics model with Python. Today, we will be modeling species competitions in nature to refine the population growth model we discussed before. When we discussed the population growth model in the first video, we were assuming that the species we observe does not affect it by interactions with their environment or another species. Today, we add the interaction factor for the growth model with the simple example of animal populations in the nature. Let's say that we want to observe zebra populations. Zebra is an herbivore and their food resources are available in their nature, for example, leaves and grasses. There is another animal that also eat leaves and grasses as their food resources. For example, the deals. As they are consuming the same resources, they are competing to fulfill their needs, especially when there is some scarcity and the resources become limited. There is also other population species that could affecting these populations, for example, the lions, as their natural predator. The interactions are called predator and prey interactions, and we will discuss it in the next video. So, the purpose of this model is to add competition factor for population growth. We want to describe the assumptions into equations which we could solve and then simulate them to answer our questions. The first assumption is the same as the unconstrained population model is the number of birth is proportional to the number of populations. The competition factor is added in the second assumptions, that is the number of deaths in each species are proportional to its population and other species population. And here is the proposed model for, let's say, the first species population. By notating each birth rate as B and death rate as D, we write the model as dp1 over dt is equal to b1 times p1 minus d1 times p1 times p2. And for the second populations, dp2 over dt is equal to b2 times p2 minus d2 times p2 times p1. Now, let's draw the model diagram to visualize each variable. First population is added by the births, which are calculated from birth rate times population, and then subtracted by the deaths. The deaths are calculated from death rate times population for species 1 times the population for species 2. The same are applied to the second populations that the births are calculated from birth rate times populations and the deaths are calculated from death rate times population for species 1 times population for species 2. After drawing the diagram, it's time to simulate the model using finite difference method. As the new value is equal to old value or a change in value, we write the equation as p1 in iteration i plus 1 is equal to p1 in iteration i plus b1 times p1 in iteration i minus d1 times p1 times p2 and then multiply them by delta t. We also write the similar terms for the second population. Now, let's continue to write down our code. Let's say we want to model the white tip socks and black tip socks populations in an area and they are might feed on the same kinds of fish in a year when the fish supply is low. Writing WTS populations as P1 and BTS population as P2, we want to simulate their populations for 5 months with this known information. As usual, we want to initialize the variables. The simulation length is 5 months. 
and we define the each population array as p1 and p2 and let's run this code and here are our code we have discussed in finite difference equations and here are the plots looks like the wts populations is reducing quickly after two months and the bts populations is increasing like exponentially after the second month until the fifth month and we might ask why does this happen and let's take a look at the birth rate of each species notice that d1 is higher than d2 and that means the white tip shark is more likely to die in each iteration than the black tip sharks and let's examine the last populations or the each species population after five months and it looks like the WTS population after 5 months is 0 and the BTS population after 5 months is 26.5 or let's say it's 27. So we can say that in this phenomenon, the BTS survive the competitions while the WTS are not. That's all for now. Let's discuss further in comment sections if you are interested and it would be awesome if you will support this channel by clicking likes and subscribe button. See you in the next videos.